Okay, having a bit of an issue here with Project Bolide 2.0. Power's up, that's fine. I can turn down the top fans, but I'll leave them on high just to show you something odd. It will either go fine or it'll say there's an error see right now it's fine nothing popped up bad saying something was wrong although it is running very hot and getting hotter why if I do F10 to exit I suspect about now. CPU fan error. So, gonna shut down obviously now. Uh, you can see there that it is in fact plugged in. And the walk thing there it's clearly plugged in. It can't go in any farther than that, no matter how hard I try. It worked perfectly fine yesterday. I have not touched it since I just opened it now, trying to make sure it was all plugged in. And now it's still doing this. I checked around back to make sure the CPU pump was getting power. It is. But I don't know why it would suddenly say it's unplugged. Just to double check, I'm gonna give all these a push in for all that I can. If, <laughs> oh yeah, using a highlighter to hold these fans up because otherwise they just shoot. And it's blues or even matches. But, yep, ingenuity or like creativity like that is what keeps the human race going. Or it could be the reason why some people live longer than others. Meaning, I'm gonna die like tomorrow. <laughs> but that still doesn't explain why the pump is not receiving power. I can move the pump to CPU optional, I guess. But then where would I put something in the main CPU? I can see. If it even shows up in the CPU fan, either the header or the block itself is bad. one for setup. It is overclocked, but it's not doing anything. CPU fan is not being noticed. Okay. So, that's all I wanted to know there. If I were to move the CPU fan to the CPU optional, and then move some random fan. Let's just see if that works. Either the pump itself is not receiving any power, or the CPU fan header is having an issue. Smash the delete key. According to the front fence, front fans, it's not getting any better. CPU over temperature error. Okay, that's overheating. 
But why? Why is it suddenly doing this? All right. If it wasn't working there in a different in a different fan header, then it obviously has something to do with the block itself. Unless the fan header thing here itself is bad. Can't imagine why it would be though. I do not have another way to cool the CPU down. So until I figure out what the heck is going on, bolides are the commission. I could have thrown in a H100i GTX, but I just sold it. So I currently have no idea what's going on. Before they were having some tension, like right here, but that wouldn't be enough to completely stop it, would it? It was kind of pulling like that, and I fixed it, and that would be the power one. We'll do the same thing now if I pushed it in more. Sounds like it's going to do the same error. Yep, same CPU fan. Alright, let me get it around back and see if anything I can do. Yeah. Okay, everything seems to be accounted for in this wraps nest of wires. And this is the power lead for the block. I don't know why it suddenly didn't want to read. Maybe these other two hard drives aren't receiving power either. If I ever get it back to the desktop, I'll find out. But for now, let's try moving the... Interruption, of course. All right, let's try moving this power to another lead, like right here. Gonna be hard to do with one hand, so see you in a second. All right, there it is on another lead. I'll find a way to make it slightly more cable managed. There we go. I'm not gonna put the back panel on in case this does absolutely nothing, and I have to come right back here. So let me get the system hooked back up and see if that fixes anything. Okay, powering back up. I'm going to first listen for the fans to see if they make lots of noise. I'm running on space, I think. That's why it's jittery for me. Nope, it doesn't seem to have done anything. I think I have a dead block. CPU fan error. Perfect. Well, if you have this kind of experience with the H220 or H320 Swift Tech Cooler, let me know. Because this is BS. See you next time.